Rust-Oleum Caliper Paint Kit. We are not professionals by any means, just informational purposes. We're gonna make them red. Let's break loose these lug bolts. Broth pattern. So once you have the wheel removed, you're going to want to get the caliper cleaner and a rag to wipe it off with. And so when you paint them, the dirt isn't going to stick onto the paint, but rather the caliper so it stays on here. <laughs> so this is what it comes with. It has a uh, can of paint here and a paintbrush and a stick. So we're gonna be literally applying this by hand. So any real masking, uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip because we're pretty much having like a second grade art project here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be applying this by hand. So let's grab the stick here, stir it up, and we've got our paintbrush, and we're gonna dip it in there in a second and pretty much just paint it by hand. Everything should go smoothly, but knowing how shit goes for me usually, we'll find out. All right, so it's nice and stirred up. Let's start applying. Let's start at the top, just because if any paint drops, come back and cover it since you both reach the bottom. You get a little bit of runs going on there. All right, so this paint's super runny. So we're gonna try and go ahead and tape off the uh, rotor here so we don't get too much paint on it. I'll take it back, this isn't like a second grade project, this is more like fifth grade. <laughs> I'd say wait about five minutes for it to dry before applying another layer. See we're adding the second layer now. Just trying to give it a nice finish now. Try to keep straight brushes, vertical brushes to make it just appear more even. For the love of God, do not forget to take off the tape. It can have some weird sounds and some weird smells if you drive off with the tape. So this paint kit turned out pretty good. It is a little runny, but it, I feel it is better than using a spray can due to the fact that you don't have to mask off huge sections. Um, you can get there and in little crevices and stuff and use a little brushed paint. Very simple. The only downside is that it does have a long dry time. So if you have really shitty brake pads, the dust will get in them if you drive the car too soon. But other than that, I'd give it a B. Pretty decent product. Um, if you're looking to paint your calipers, I'd definitely give it a shot. Two hours later. So I guess let's go. So these are my new shiny wheels. And I'm down here at Coyote Wheel and Tire to get my 